Are you a commuter facing the uphill battle of San Francisco's challenging terrain? The quest for the best e-scooter for hills. Keeping your budget in check can be quite the ride on electric scooter for hills. We have conducted electric scooter uphill test and choose the best electric scooter for climbing hills. Let's provide you with the best electric scooter for San Francisco hills under $1,000. The first in the list is Varla Eagle One Pro. The Varla Eagle One Pro electric scooter emerges as a remarkable electric scooter for 30-degree inclines. In optimal conditions, it boasts an exceptional speed of over 45 miles per hour, ensuring that you won't be left stranded midway through your journey for 1 hour and 23 minutes. And on hills, as we tested it at Lombard Street with its dawning 15.1-degree angle A staggering 27% grade, it can easily be righted at maximum speed of 28 miles per hour for up to 52 minutes. This scooter offers a thrilling ride without compromising on speed and safety. The problem with it is that this scooter is not under $1,000. The second in the list is the InMotion Climber, best for climbing 20-degree inclines. The InMotion Climber boasts dual motors, delivering a power output ranging from 450 watt to an impressive 750 watt. This power duo enables the scooter to conquer inclines of up to a staggering 35%. Yes, you read that correctly it can confidently tackle a 35% slope. Imagine effortlessly ascending steep streets like Filbert, Bradford, Romolo, Prentice, Nevada, Baden, or Lombard, all of which are known for their formidable grades. The Emotion Climber is your reliable partner for scaling San Francisco's challenging slopes. It triumphs over streets like Filbert, Nevada, Baden, and Lombard at an average speed of 21 miles per hour for 32 minutes with average of 234 pounds weight. However, at Bradford, Romolo and Prentice did not perform outstandingly with an average speed of 16.8 miles per hour for 19 minutes with average 186 pounds weight. What makes the climber a compelling choice? It offers the flexibility of selecting from three different modes, pedestrian mode, dynamic mode, sport mode. This versatility allows you to adapt your ride to your specific needs and preferences, making the climber an excellent investment for a wide range of users. The third in the list is E2GTSE. It's powerful 500W nominal and 700W peak power through a brushless DC motor, which suggests a readiness to tackle up to 24-degree slopes with ease. Under optimal conditions, this formidable battery delivers an impressive range of up to 31 miles on a single charge at top speed of 25 miles per hour. Moreover, it charges rapidly in just 3 to 4 hours, ensuring you spend less time waiting and more time riding. At inclines, the battery of the E2 GT SE electric scooter takes 35 to 37 minutes at average speed of 18 miles per hour and with weight of 200 pounds to drain on a 23-degree inclines in San Francisco, such as Bradford Street and Bernal Heights, Romolo between Vallejo and Fresno, Prentice between Chapman and Powhatan, Nevada above Chapman, Baden above Mangles, Lombard Street, Jones Street between Union and Filbert, Debosi Street between Buena Vista and Alpine, and Webster Street between Vallejo and Broadway. It weighs less than 27 pounds and equipped with a three-point folding system, the E2 GT SE is exceptionally lightweight and portable. Its adjustable height handlebars can be lowered and folded, allowing you to stow it under an office desk or in the trunk of your car. The fourth in the list is High Boy S2 Max. San Francisco's hills are no match for the S2 Max. Thanks to its potent 500W motor, it can gracefully tackle inclines with up to a 20% grade or 13 degrees, such as Lombard Street, Jones Street, Debosi Street, and Webster Street. And at these inclines, the battery takes an average of 40 minutes to fully drain out at a speed of 15 miles per hour. Whether you're ascending steep streets or winding roads, this scooter does it with ease. The S2 Max offers three modes, Eco, Normal, and Sport, for a customized ride. Cruise economically in Eco mode, strike a balance in Normal, or unleash exhilarating speed in Sport mode. The S2 Max prioritizes your protection with front-wheel mechanical and rear regenerative e-brakes. Equipped with 10-inch air-filled tires, it ensures a smooth and comfy journey over bumpy streets. The fifth and the last one in the list is Segway Nibot Max G2. The Nibot Max G2 doesn't hold back when it comes to power. With a formidable 1000W motor, it conquers hills with ease, making steep inclines, up to 45% grade, a breeze. At an average incline of 38%, its speed declines to 18 mph and its battery lasts for 30 to 34 minutes on this incline. 
While the scooter's maximum incline capability may vary based on factors like rider weight, speed, and road conditions, it's clear that hill climbing is a forte. In optimal conditions, it has a max speed of 22 miles per hour, you'll cover a commendable 24.7 miles. In eco mode, you can travel a staggering 43 miles at 10 miles per hour. This makes it perfect for those long commutes or exploration of the city's many neighborhoods.